All right. So you guys have been asking a little bit about what exactly I use on Magic Templar, and the fact of the matter is it changes a lot depending on what we're doing. So what I'm wearing right now, I believe, is the highest DPS you can do in the current patch. Uh, let me show you the stats on that first. Totally unbuffed. So without minor and major, you're going to get 24, 44 spell damage. A little over 40k magicka as a high elf, and absolutely no sustain at all. So, there's that. Now what gear am I using? So, in my opinion, uh, five piece twice born slash five piece Julianos, depending on what you're doing. If you're in a pledge, probably Julianos. If you're in a trial with a lot of debuffs and warhorns, probably twice born is better. Now I am completely lazy. And I do not uh, like getting Munstones all the time, so I'm going to rock twice born all the time. So with that said, 5-piece twice born, 4-piece Infallible Aether, all the vines, obviously. And then the little tricky part is the 3-piece willpower. Um, the first weapon is going to be enchanted with the spell damage proc. The second one with the Absorb Magicka, 2500 uh, 2, Magic Dent, and a little Magicka back, it's good. Uh, now how do you sustain on this? Well, obviously you Rune. Um, on mine, I'm lucky enough to have the Maelstrom Rest of Staff infused. I think infused is best for what I'm doing. Uh, every time your Mugen and Rep returns to Prox, you're going to get a Magicka back. Other thing you can do is obviously the the heavy draw, get your magic back. So obviously your jabs are doing a lot of it. I'm basically not buffed at all by anyone else. Uh, magic Templar is lucky enough to have some good traits to make your crit a lot higher. So obviously getting getting your crit percent as high as possible is good, and then maxing out how much damage you can do on your crits. Now, I uh, do some fun things with my um, champion points. I like to try to spread it out as much as possible, so I, I get diminishing returns above about 78 right now. Obviously, it's going to change when they add more points to this. Um, so I do 78 in Thumb and Torch and 78 in Elementor Expert, just because that's as high as you can get both of those, and literally everything a Templar does is uh, considered a dot by this game, even jabs. Uh, I don't know why. Um, and then Elfborn, I, I get as high as I can, which is 8%. So this build, obviously, the, the drawback is it doesn't have any sustain at all. Um, with that said, uh, if I were in, a, in Hellra or a Trial or something, I'd switch out to a Dester Staff. I don't have an Inferno Sharpen yet, so I use an Ice Sharpen. And switch back the neck away from the Willpower to Infallible. And the final thing I do is, uh, usually in the trial someone else, a healer, is running Infallible if they're five piece. So you don't necessarily need it on yours. So just ask your group. Um, I would do Molly Keen and replace that, so I still get 5-piece Twiceborn, 4-piece uh, Infallible for the spell damage, and then 1-piece Molly Keen. And you want all that divine. Now this has a lot of benefits because this, this has another dot. This lets you do Wall of Omens. Um, this lets you have a lot better sustain because Ellie Drain is going to be on everything you're fighting, and your sort of medium wave is going to do more damage because you're a magic based character and you're using a staff instead of the sword. So the damage is comparable. You're going to you're going to see a drop off on like radiant destruction a little bit, but you're also going to be a lot more full of magicka. 
So it's a, it's a good trade off. Now, if you want to go complete cancer build, which I like to do sometimes, and just troll and do everything you want. Uh, the Amber Lasm set is awesome. I'm lucky enough to have one sword sharpen. My second weapon is not optimal, but it's at least a one-hander. Drawback to this is you drop in probably a third three piece, which is the the five percent damage in a dungeon. The good part about this is you just have so much more resources. And the other good part about this is you can put a monster set back on. So let's just show what the stats on that look like. I would use Valk and Scoria right now. Um, it's questionable after the update what we're going to use, but right now this does a lot of damage and this is getting buffed. And the other good part of this is the one piece is max health. So not only do you have way more recovery, magic and stamina, you have, you know, way more health. So keep that five piece twice bar and get the five piece amberplasm and a two piece Valken Scoria and you can basically do anything you want. The other nice part about this you can throw rearming trap down a lot more easily without losing all your stamina. You can block a lot more, you can bash a lot more. You can roll around, keep yourself alive. So really if you just want the you know, eighty five percent of the damage build but not think about anything and keep yourself alive a lot easier and be more useful with bashing and whatnot. I definitely like the, the Amber Plasma set. Now, if you're not lucky enough to get the swords, I would never in my life use it because it looks like I want to go to Burning Man or something. Um, so if you want to show your nipples and not really wear armor at all, then, you know, wear it on the body. But if you get the swords, then you're good to go. So yeah, there's the three builds I use. I hope that was helpful. I'll do a rotation later of damage, but this is basically the build. And enjoy.